Hi fellow Django developers, as I care here from alwaysjango.com where we discuss interesting Django topics that helps you grow, improve as a Django developer. So if that sounds interesting, like, subscribe, share and comment on this video, man. So today we are going to discuss <clears throat> Django cookies, right? How to set, how to create and read cookies in Django, right? So formally we discuss sessions, creating of sessions, deleting of sessions, updating sessions, and everything about sessions, right? So what is cookie? Like we discussed in our first video in this in Django cookies playlist, which I'll add a link to it in the description and also a link to this article here on alwaysdjango.com where we discuss sessions and cookies in Django. In our first video in the playlist, we talked about cookies and sessions. We discussed it, so I'll not really go too in depth about discussing what cookie is so in a in a nutshell right a cookie is a type of storage system used which is used to store information in our clients like in the browser right and send those 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 cookies to the server when requests are made right so when cookies are stored in the browser when we set cookies in the browser when making requests to the server these cookies are sent along with the request right so i talked about why cookies are not secure and everything if you want to see a more in-depth if you want to see that video where we talked about cookies and sections in jago i will also leave a link to it in the description so now we are going to look at how to create sections in django or certain sections in django right so to set sections in django we use the set cookie we took set cookies in django sorry pardon my pardon my error to set cookies in Django, we use the set cookies method in our response, right? In our Django response dictionary, Django response um, object. So here we have an uh, we have a very simple project here that just returns, just prints out Django cookies to the browser, right? So here is our response. Obviously, we are returning. We are returning a render Django render short, a Django render with a template, right? Index or HTML template, which is this template here, right? So to set cookies in Django, in our response, we say set cookies. Now with this method, we can set different attributes of uh, one is the key, the value, which is the value obviously, expires, secured, um, domain and credentials and everything right but the most important one should be the key which is the key we are going to use the use to identify the cookie and the value of such cookie so let's say key here let's say the key is name and let's say the value let's say the value is john john do right so with this simply like this we have created cookie in django we have set a cookie in django the name of our, the cookie is name and the value of it is John Do. So let's reload. Let's reload our browser. Of course, you not see it. But if you go to our our browser console, right? If you go to our about this share, right? At this developer console, right? Then we go to um, application. If I'm right, application. Then we come here. You see the cookies. And in this table, in this cookies table, you see name, right? And the value. We see the name the value, the domain, the domain obviously is, is localhost, the path which is slash, the expires which is, and everything, HTTP only and everything, right? So this is the name of the cookie, this is the value of the cookie. If you want to set another value, maybe you say name two is maybe John Doe, John Doe two, right? We go here, we go here, we reload. Here is it, name two, John Doe two. So this is how you set cookies in Django. So we, let just let me say maybe you want to set an expiring date for the cookie maybe you want to, to use this cookie to store a username right you want to use this cookie to store a username that maybe after after two days let's say two days you want to delete the cookie so that the user will have to log in again to reset the cookie right so in this cookie method we have an expired an expired argument here so with this expired argument, we can set our expiring date. So, so we say expires is equal to let's say date Django date time dot now, right? 
Django daytime. We imported it here. Django day from Django from daytime, not Django daytime, Python daytime. From daytime, import daytime, import time time delta, right? You see what we use this data. We use this time delta to add time to the current time. This daytime dot now gives you the current time with the time delta with the time delta. We can add time to it. Let's say plus time delta time delta let's say we want to add days we want to add two days so after two days two days from now after two days this cookie will expire right so let's not say expires then we say string because because this expects the string not a daytime a daytime um django daytime type but a string so we convert this to string and that's it so we load reload and that's it we have set we have set we have set the expiring date for this cookie right so this is how you set cookie in django now let's look at how to get cookies in django that's how to read cookies in django to read cookies in django we use the request date we use the request dictionary the django request dictionary in the django request dictionary we have a dot cookies right this dot cookies will give us a list of cookies a dictionary of cookies and that was sent during a request right so let's say let's get this name two cookie and maybe uh, maybe we'll pass it to the browser something like that we'll pass it to the index.html right so let's say request dot cookies right request dot cookies then we'll use the get method i get the name two name two is the key of this cookie right so we use it to get this cookie so let's say let's name this thing as name is equal to this so we will now return it to the browser right so we have set the cookie now we have set the cookie let's refresh our browser we have set our cookie we have set this name too so let's remove this from here let's remove this from here and let's just return this let's just return this and return our context let's say context is name name right right here we render out h1 let's say name right so we are it we are getting the cookie we are getting the cookie and we are returning it to the browser so let's reload <clears throat> let's request the cookies dot let's print out this cookie name john do right so we we i made a mistake i made a mistake obviously pardon me i used the wrong name the wrong key name for this cookie so name name is the name of this cookie this is the name of this cookie let's say name two let's get name two name two should be john do two right that's what you set it at john do two <clears throat> John Doe 2, right? So this is how you read and set cookies in Django. So if you if you are paying attention to what we are doing, you will see that to get to set a cookie, right? We use the response dictionary. We use our response. The response we are sending to the browser, and to get a cookie, we use the request dictionary. The request we are getting from the browser. And thinking about it is right. Is is reasonable, right? Because to set a cookie. To set a cookie, we should use. We are sending a an instruction to the client. Our server is sending an instruction to the client. And how do you send instructions to the client? How it says command? How do you communicate with the client? How do you send something from the client from the server to the client? It's through our response, right? So to send this com the command to the client, obviously we should use our response. Now to get our cookie back from the client to get this cookie back from the client we should use our request right because it's with the request that the uh, client is communicating with the server the client is giving the server some information right so to get information from the client which is getting the cookies we use the request while well, when we are when we want to set the cookie send an instruction to the client we use the response right that's thinking about it so this is it guys this is how you set how this is how you read and this is how you create and read cookies in, in Django, right? So in the next video, we'll talk about how to set secured cookies in Django because 
if you come to our browser this is one of the one of the uh, of the disadvantages of using cookies right if you use cookies they are not secure they can be tampered with from the client so a user can come here maybe you use this this cookie to store the username a user can come here and change this value of the username and possibly become another user altogether right and get access to another user or, to, or obviously you should have another other security implementation extension for this but you can what we are trying to say is that cookies are not secured and you can come a client can come to the browser and change our cookie so in the next video we'll look at how to create secured cookies and with django right so that a client cannot manipulate with our cookies a lot right so that's it with me that's it for today that's it for now guys so stay in tuned um like the video subscribe turn on the notification guys and and comment any question you have for me leave it in the comment and i'll get back to you peace